The district judiciary is the first point of contact for a citizen in search of justice. The district judiciary is a crucial component of the rule of law. The arc of pending cases is defined by a triangle or a pyramid, large at the base and tapering as we move upwards. Data on the national judicial data grid reveals a basic truth. The district judiciary is not just the first, but more often the final point of contact for citizens. The reasons may be numerous. Many citizens are unable to afford legal representation. They have a lack of awareness about statutory rights. And there are geographical difficulties in physically accessing courts. The quality of our work and the conditions in which we provide justice to citizens determines whether they have confidence in us and is a test of our own accountability to society. The district judiciary is therefore called upon to shoulder tremendous responsibility and is aptly described as the backbone of the Indian judiciary. The spine is the core of the nervous system. To sustain the spine of the legal system, we must stop calling the district judiciary as the subordinate judiciary. 75 years after independence, the time has come for us to bury one more relic of the British era, the colonial mindset of subordination. Besides discharging the judicial function, judges from the district judiciary perform numerous other responsibilities. They are administrators of courts, mentors to young judges, and communicators in society. But above all, they are protectors of rights for those who possess them but may not know that they exist or are unable to enforce them. They oversee the development of infrastructure and engage in case management. They work with paralegals, legal aid committees, and lok adalats in the course of their work. District judges, like judges at the High Court and the Supreme Court, play a meaningful role in their interactions with members of the bar who are a vital stakeholder in the system. In the course of hearing a case, judges must provide valuable mentorship from the bench to younger advocates for learning the ropes of the profession. As seasoned members of the legal profession, it is easy to forget how apprehensive we all felt and how little we knew as green young advocates. Fresh out of law college, your patience, gentleness, and guidance from the bench will nurture the talent of young advocates and allow them to fulfill their potential. As they grow in years, they will share the mentoring they receive for the betterment of society and the legal profession. Every judge has the ability to transform not only the lives of lawyers who appear in court, but the present and future of our society. But to do so, we must realize as judges that we exist for reasons beyond our own existence. The core of our function is to serve others. That can happen when we put ourselves in the place of those who come before us with real-life stories of suffering and injustice.